In this video, we're going to summarize the how does a speed camera work topic. So we've now finished the topic on how speed cameras work. In this topic, you've learnt about waves, so you should now know what the terms wavelength, frequency, period and amplitude of a wave mean. You've also seen that the wave speed can be calculated using the wave speed is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. You've seen that we've got two types of waves, longitudinal waves such as sound waves where the particles making up the medium oscillate in a direction parallel to the direction the wave is travelling in and transverse waves where the particles in the medium oscillate in a direction perpendicular to the direction the wave is travelling. You've been introduced to the concept that at boundaries a wave can either be transmitted or reflected. You've seen that if a wave is reflected from a boundary of a more dense medium, then it undergoes a phase change, whereas if it's reflected off a less dense medium, there is no phase change. We'll be investigating this in greater detail in the next topic, where we'll be considering how spectacles work, and we'll be looking at light waves, and we'll need to be able to work out whether they undergo a phase change when reflected off a boundary or not. We've also been introduced to the Doppler effect. So you know that a speed camera uses the Doppler effect to, to work out how fast a car is going. It can measure frequencies very accurately, so the small shift in frequency caused by the movement of the car tells the speed camera exactly how fast you're going. After this we had a look at relative motion. We saw how we could calculate the relative motion between two objects. We said that this led the ideas of relative motion and that all the laws of physics were the same in any inertial reference frame led Einstein on to develop their theories of special and general relativity. Finally, we had a brief look at how an ultrasound scanner works. You saw that an ultrasound scanner uses similar physics to a speed camera, except that it uses high frequency sound waves rather than waves in the electromagnetic spectrum, radio waves, which the speed cameras use. So I recommend that you now do the tutorial problems in order to consolidate your understanding of this topic. I hope you've enjoyed this topic. Special thanks to Sebastian Frick for filming this video.